Hello friends, welcome back to channel. In today's video, we will deep dive into powerful DMSS command. If you ever wonder how to troubleshoot hardware issue, diagnose system problem to get rid of kernel activity, the command is go to tool. Let's get started. So what is DMSS? If you type DMSS, DMSS is a command that stands for display message and some say diagnose messages or driver message, but it provides the information for kernel ring buffer store variable information about the system, boot process, hardware event, and the kernel related message. See, it's giving ample amount of information, but as I mentioned, it's giving information from the ring buffer value. So what is the ring buffer? The ring buffer stores information about the hardware devices, in initialization, and message from the kernel module that take place during the startup or boot. Okay, so D message help us to see during startup, is there an issue or is there an issue in the hardware after the boot also? So accessing a D message. So D message is a command. You can access it. When you execute D message, you will see a stream of message on the screen. This message contains valuable information about device driver, hardware event, and system process. By default, display D message display the most recent message. But if you want to go up, you can go up and check it. So D. MESC by less. Okay, then if you see it's a boot process. Okay, system boots, how system boots, and it's giving an information of those things. What is the console? What is the initializing sub memory, freezer, unsupported CPU? See one error we are getting here. So, like this, you can troubleshoot is an hardware issue or not. But Seeing this many information will get confused, okay? Because the output we are getting is overwhelming. So what we can do, fortunately, D message allows us to filter the messages. So for that, we'll use some option like D message hyphen H human readable. So now you get in the color yellow green, okay? So warning will be green, error will be red. So that's how you can differentiate or if you want to see the timing with the time stamp here you go see with the time stamp you are getting perfect and what else if you want to debug hyphen h and x see now debugging means it's giving information notice debug what type of code okay you can label it warning debug okay this how you see this field getting change this so this is how you can filter moreover you can use pipe d message pipe grab what wrm okay and error no error info this is the information we are getting okay and uh, st and plug grab one this is how you will get all the warning okay and error no error info or information this many information and you can use d message if it is t plus usb okay you will grab it to usb so usb memory memory cpu according to your need you can in this slice okay you can make your command you can grab those things whatever you want now if you want to save the D message output to analyze it later or sometime else, so you can redact those things. That is a simple D message, D message, you can redact to any file slash DMP slash DMS. Okay, cat slash DMP DMS. See, this is how you can redact it and save it. Now, um, the kernel ring buffer can accumulate a lot of information over time. If you want to clear and start the fresh, you can use the message clear. The message I find clear or the message I find see. So now the message got clear. There's nothing. Okay. The useful information I have given you, the message and options, the message I find T for time, H for human readable and H and X for decoding. Now as my DMS message got clear, but I want to check the earlier message. So how we will check it? D message is getting stored in a file. That file is cat slash where 
log d message c is already there so all the logs will be available here see you are getting dot old file also so this how you can check the older logs of the d message is getting save in a bad log location and like we are doing tlf we can do d message hyphen w because d message command so i will type here now we'll see the upcoming logs okay i will disconnect and connect my phone to linux system the logs will appear shown here okay my mobile phone is got connected so after connecting you are able to see new full speed usb device number five using ohcpi okay device found at showing product two serial number three product name is vivo 2008 manufacturing vivo serial number is this now you know which mobile i'm using now you know which mobile i'm using if i disconnect it again you will get one more message disconnected you connect again see we got this messages so that's how you can treat the runtime message because if you run simply d message command it will give you a prompt again you have to run so d message hyphen w will give you the live update whatever you are doing okay and you can do d message hyphen td so you'll get the time 1925 we did then 25.44 48 this how you can read the d message d message offers several options to enhance your experience so we have already discussed df hyphen h d message hyphen t hyphen capital h h x and pipe less more head tail you can use for more you can explore this option by referring to command manual page using man d message it will provide you a detailed information about the various flag and the additional function like man a m e s c so it will provide you the ample amount of information which you can use and what flag you have to use at the time mountains okay there you have it the d message command is invaluable tool for linux user and system administrator it help you troubleshoot hardware issue track kernel event and gain insight in your system activity experience the d message on your own to unlock its full potential so thanks for watching that's all for today if you found this video useful or helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel for more videos keep learning see you next video till then bye bye